Hello everyone, this is Akaim and welcome back to some more Sword of the Stars 2, the Enhanced Edition, and we are officially back. Uh, I did go and get a new software program that will actually hopefully record without that very annoying uh, beeps or bleeps or screeches that occurs whenever I use Gamecaster. So I went and got the OSB software I, i'm pretty certain it's osb and i want to thank you uh commenter i i don't know how to pronounce your name uh it is in russian so i'm gonna quickly pop it up on screen so huge thanks uh to you for pointing out uh the software that i can use and hopefully it will go over very well uh this is actually my second attempt on recording um last what happened uh my first attempt uh this was on saturday night I was trying to get it quickly recorded uh, before I actually had to go and uh, get some sleep because I was going up on a trip uh, for a day, went to go see a couple of my aunts. So I had to get that quickly recorded and then I had the issue of it capturing my commentary in with the game audio. So there was no way I was able to actually separate my audio from the game audio and anything from that uh we're gonna go ahead and finish colonizing and, and yes unfortunately uh nothing was really profitable there now unfortunately for uh myself i'm gonna be, i i know what's what's coming so i'm gonna be able to prepare um myself hopefully we can gain some money uh let's see actually i do want to look at possibly yeah i'm just, i might just do that do we have we could send some backup okay that's kind of annoying all right so i have to manually drag these into here and that should be 54. uh i am going to send the survey fleet down here to uh patrol think that's the right one so they are going to patrol travel time is two turns uh, they will patrol there for 14 turns um, so this is kind of a good thing if you want to ensure that nothing does come around you can send them there they will stay there for a little bit I'm pretty certain I can't rebase them so let's go ahead and send them down there yeah I, I, I feel slightly bad that I actually know what's about to occur but there's not really much I can do about it. I mean, I'm gonna use it to my benefit when I can, uh, but I will need to eventually devise a way to build up a actual defensive fleet of more recent ships. So that is something I'm gonna have to do. And hopefully we can get a little bit more money. We are kind of low on money. So once again, uh, going back to what I was kind of talking about earlier is thank you once again to the commenter um i will post your name um and tr leave me a comment down below I, I i do apologize i believe you have told me uh what to say when i try to pronounce your name but i kind of have forgotten so i do apologize so we are doing fairly well and we're quickly making our way so Today I went and visited my aunts a little story time because there's not really much happening in the game. I uh, went to go visit uh, to my aunts. One of my aunts came in from Massachusetts to visit uh, her sister and my father went up to visit his sisters. So as my aunts on my uh, father's side. So uh, one of my aunts uh, is actually a uh, author. Uh, she has written some science fiction stories, so I got to talk with her about my own science fiction stories I'm working on. Um, and then I got to see my other aunt. We chatted. It was a blast to see them, and I really was grateful. And I was actually able to finish uh, reading the last bit of the uh, Sword of the Stars uh, Deacon's Tale. There wasn't really much there left. It was uh, essentially the... Um, not the conclusion, but all the information about the Zools and uh, the other races. And I did talk to um, the author, Aaron Dimbo, uh, that it would be cool to see another story where we actually see the more guy because the more guys kind of mentioned at the very end. Uh, spoiler warning there, I guess. I probably should have mentioned that spoiler warning. Uh, they are kind of mentioned. 
uh, but not really talked all too much about. So our station is fully upgraded. Uh, we can, or better yet, we've completely built all the modules we can. We can actually upgrade this. Uh, this does and will cost us money. Uh, let's see. So if we use our construction fleet, it would cost us 240,000 credits. I am not overly concerned right now. Uh, we will be doing it, but what I actually want to do is want, I want to build a civilian station because I kind of want to get um, additional income. So I definitely want to get that taken care of real quick and hopefully we can get additional credits because yeah, we're not doing so hot on the credits. I know we do have at least a uh, colony that was being built and eventually their income is going to be a little bit more but we definitely need trade and we need it pretty badly so that's something i might look into uh here soon flavors where 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 Ooh, that's actually kind of nice so we know that there are uh slavers incoming uh let's see who can i send Good lord. Okay. That's actually kind of a nice warning. Uh, we can actually send ships over there to assist. I'm just trying to think here. Better yet, I want to see if I can uh, buff up that fleet if possible. Uh, like I said, I definitely need to get uh, an actual defensive fleet, a fleet that's able to assist as much as possible. So that's probably going to be the best thing I can do. Uh, let's go ahead and send them to patrol. They will go over there. And once again, they will stay there for about 14 turns until I cancel them. Open, we are on patrol. Which is nice. Uh, and I think, yes, I can cancel missions. So if you need to, you can actually cancel them. Uh, but obviously, they will return directly to this. So it's slightly... Uh, it's not the best thing to do, but... Yes, we can do that if we need to. All right, so we have a new station built. This is a civilian station. Uh, let's see, this gives us additional trade movements. Uh, let's see, uh, Hiver Habitation will increase the eternal trade route value by 1%. And Warehouse, let's see, Trade Goods survive one extra turn waiting for pickup. So I guess we'll go ahead and get this built. And we could possibly also uh, get some freighters built. We'll get at least four. Yeah, that sounds good. And this is still being built up. And this is still built, still being built up. Okay, which is unfortunate, but um, they'll they'll eventually get uh, the freighters built up built up. Uh, one more thing I want to do. So uh, this did not happen last time. Just just a FYI, um, I did not experience slavers uh, in the game. Let's see. Actually, I want I want you. I rather have more of my and my command ship can be further in the back don't want him to die and I think that is good now let's quickly take a look at the wrong planet all right I don't think I can do anything until we actually get here uh, so that means if the slavers actually arrive next turn which they probably will it means that we are going to have to quickly get over there okay so this is the first time we are actually going to be in a battle uh, one major complaint against this battle system is if you let the AI do it so if in the previous version sort of the stars all all uh, additions to that game if you hit the computer the computer would automatically resolve it um, and you would just go to your next turn here you you still go in battle you still go in fucking battle, so it's really super annoying uh, having to still watch the computer do it all instead of you do it. So I really, really don't like it. Uh, we can see what's coming in. 
Um, let's see. So hopefully we can actually have them come in here. I think that would work best. All right, yeah, that looks good. And let's actually do this. So yeah, huge issue with the auto resolve combat. Combat. It. it oh, I. I don't know why they did it this way. I would think that if I hit this, I don't want to watch it. I just want the computer to take care of it for me. But ugh. okay, let's go ahead and go into combat. So yeah, this is the first time we're gonna be seeing combat in the game. I'm pretty certain. Let's see. So we start off. Uh, the game will automatically accelerate uh obviously since we oh it looks like they're over there so the game will automatically start accelerating so you can actually get around the system fairly quickly um without having to uh spend most of your combat time just trying to get to the enemies so this will speed it up which is nice all right supply you are going to actually uh stay neutral you're not going to really push in. They are going to push in quite heavily. So a few things is you do have like a barrel roll. So your ships will automatically start rolling. Which is kind of cool. Uh, spin will actually flip your ships around. I'm not going to do it now because I actually need to focus these guys down. Um, and this allows you to move them in whatever plane you want. Uh, is very beneficial. Especially if uh, you are weakened at say the front or the bottom and you can have your ships move a little bit down just so it can reduce the amount of damage to your ship so I think we should be fine we have a fairly decent fleet we just have to make sure we take control of them you can also control their speed you can have them use more energy to zip around a little bit quicker but I'm fairly certain we should be able to take care of these guys uh, we're doing fairly sizable damage. Um, as far as like controls, there are retreat, there is standoff, there's pursuit. Uh, very similar to the original in a lot of retrospect ways. Uh, guys, I really want you guys to focus this down. Focus this down. Focus this down. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, guys. Ugh. I hate to say it, but I think they're, this is actually going to make it. Yep, they actually made it in. God damn it. Ugh. Well, we took out their ships. Um, their slaver disc did make it to the planet, which means uh, that they are going to get away with some civilians. Yes, I know. I told my ships to focus them down and what do they do they don't so unfortunately we're gonna lose quite a bit of civilians from this uh, up here you can actually see uh, how it goes and it looks like it automatically just breaks up I don't even think I have to do anything yep so up here is going to be your planet uh, obviously you want to bring it down to zero as quick as possible uh, if you are fighting against another planet, it's a lot more difficult than it was in the previous. Uh, we lost how many civilians? Uh, I, I really don't like how they did this. So I don't know if we still have 271,895,000 civilians. That's why I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at it. Uh, let's so just cut that. All right, so civilian population has decreased a little bit as well as the Imperial. So that does look like that's the um, final thing. All right, is there a way? Really, I can't look at, oh, that's that's kind of annoying. So once that screen is gone, that screen is gone. You cannot go back to look at it. That's actually kind of annoying. I will have to say that's kind of annoying. I, I, I would like to look back at the mission statement. Strategist to all vessels. Mission terminated. Yep. All right. We're good there. Uh, slaver band has been destroyed. Very nice. We did lose a few few civilians. But I don't think our morale really has uh, been that damaged. 
Okay, so yeah, we didn't lose any morale from that, which is good. Which is actually really good. All right, so things are shaping up pretty decently. Uh, how much time on the tech? Can I take a look at the technology? The technology, we have 16 turns till this is completed. I probably will want to look into getting additional trade. Where's my trade? Yeah, that is my trade. No, that's... Yeah, that, that is my trade, huh? Okay. Wait, am I, am I just being really stupid right now? Nope. Nope, I don't think I am. At least I hope I'm not. Okay, there it is. Heavy frames, that's what I was looking for. Uh, I will probably look into getting this uh, just so we have better trade. Uh, political science uh, does have some benefits, uh, allows protectorates, or allows the player to peacefully absorb independent system. Um, there's also enhanced your addiction, um, which will also help our, um, oh good lord, I can't think of it, our provinces, which we haven't done any provinces yet. I don't even think I really can do much. So provinces are essentially allowing you to segregate your systems into different areas, uh, which will help your trade in the long run, more or less, but there's not really much we can do. We need three systems to form a, a uh, province. So unfortunately, uh, when we actually look at it, you can see certain worlds are kind of highlighted so we'd have to pick these one of these three. Unfortunately, there's no third one, so we can't really do much with that. But let's go ahead and and turn, and hopefully, it'd be nice if we just got a bro breakthrough right now uh, with that technology, uh, because yeah, then I wouldn't have to worry about it. Let's see. All right. So it looks like we actually do have a enemy fleet coming in that looks like this is the Tarkin Empire is showing up for the first time and they are on a survey mission hopefully we can actually be friendly because I actually do like the Tarkas and I kind of want to be friendly with the Tarkins I did try it last time in the uh, Sots uh, Murder of Crows my last LP and it Unfortunately, it didn't turn out that well because they were being killed off by the Lear race. All right, sorry about that cut. I had to actually turn off my little uh, heater because it was actually starting to heat up my feet a little bit too much. I was making it uncomfortable. So let's actually quickly take a look at diplomacy. So this is going to be the first time I was, I'm actually able to show off diplomacy. Um, so starting off, uh, this will be filled up by the other races that we do meet. And major thing is going to be the GDP. So we can see I have diplomacy 975 GDP. And there are variable, variable different stuff we can do. Uh, this chart actually shows you on how they feel about you. So you can kind of keep an eye on this. Uh, on the next page, um, or sorry, we need RDP. Sorry, we do need RDP, which we can gather uh, through diplomatic um, actions uh, good or bad so we can declare war which I am not going to and we do lobby I'm gonna have to kind of look into the different aspects of diplomacy not very often I'm actually able to do diplomacy um, so let's see if we can do a ceasefire yeah just a ceasefire I don't know if I actually have um, any RDP to actually spend, which might be interesting. Uh, then we have a little bit of history, any interactions, and then we can also spend points on gathering intel and counter intel. And if you're spotted, uh, it can be very bad. Uh, as you can see, points required 50, 17 is available. Chance of success is 46%. Obviously, we don't have enough points, but we can use that to gather a little bit more information on the enemy races of our system. Now, once again, like I said, I'm going to try to be 
friendly towards the Tarkin, but obviously we are the Hyver Empire and we will defend ourselves if fully necessary. And it's, oh, oh, this is so cool. I'm actually able to show this off. So we have reaction movements pending. So we can send any additional fleets uh, automatically. So you might be wondering what can we do if uh, something that, like this occurs. We can actually send a fleet over, but obviously I am not going to do that um, because I don't want my colonizing fleet to go uh, attack or assist. Uh, but it looks like the Internal Empire has actually accepted my treaty proposal, which is very, very nice. Um, awesome. So Olive Branch was a success. Uh, last time um, we went to war, actually. So it's actually kind of very, very nice that uh, they accepted it because I, I was hoping that we could be friendly and they attacked me destroyed my gate ship here and then moved to another system i uh, returned the favor and destroyed their entire survey fleet with my i believe it was my um survey fleet but yeah we're actually friendly actually i'm kind of curious let's actually quickly take a look so they are libertarianism uh there's try to see I don't want to do that. I don't have a lot of money uh, to do myself. Let's see. We can improve relations. <laughs> the lobby failed. Ooh. Okay, hopefully that... I don't know if that... Um, I've never tried lobbying, so that's actually very interesting. Uh, so that, ooh, that's something to keep in mind. They are a larger empire than us. Okay, something to keep in mind. Good to know, uh, but let's go ahead and turn, um, actually, gate fleet arrived back. Oh, that means we can actually go survey. And I probably need to build a gate ship. Yeah, let's get that done. Uh, let's get a survey fleet out. Let's see where, I think it was here. Um, that we went to, but I don't think there's really much in the way of potential that we can actually uh, do we'll anything with. What secrets are hidden there, so, yeah. Oh, well. All right. We'll go ahead and survey just in case. Um, and then let's actually end turn. I'm kind of glad I caught that because I hate wasting a turn um, and not keeping up with uh, maintaining my fleet and make sure I am surveying. Uh, to the very fullest possibility. Uh, we are starting to get, gain some money. I'm actually kind of curious. Are you... You're still producing. And the last thing we have to produce is the warehouse. Uh, they finished production. Let's quickly get our gate ship into the fleet. And then we will send them out. I think the only one is down over here. So we'll go ahead and send them over there to go and gate so let's quickly get them there good and the survey fleet is finished because there was was not uh, a lot of things there for them to actually survey so just quickly checking the freighters it looks like they should be done in nine turns hopefully a little bit quicker as soon as the construction or the infrastructure is finished and I'm just trying to see. So this has 4,000, 4,000. What does our home world have? Our home world has 9,000. Um, 9,000. I can't think of it. <laughs> 9,000 uh, industrial output. So very, very high up there. And I really do like the look of the hybrid worlds. I think it's really, really cool looking. Oh, and we've built our very first freighter, which is going to be superbly awesome. And actually, oops, did not mean to open that. Let's see. Let's check trade. So this actually allows you to take a look at your traders. Uh, we have goods. Uh, there are displays the amount of trade goods that are generated in the system. Hollow circles represent goods that are unable to be moved. 
Uh, there's apparently only one. We only have one freighter. We have a pen potential of uh, cancel no uh, potential of three freighters, and we also have imports. Are you gonna give me a talk on that? Uh, displays the amount of trade goods that are imported from other system. Hollow circles represents unused warehouse space. So yes, we will be expanding our trade as we go. Um, and this displays the amount of freighters in system. Hollow triangles represent unused docks. So more, or sorry, better yet, the higher the civilian station is, higher level means the more freighter space we can actually use. Um, and we will probably be getting additional um, civilian stations uh, sometime in the near future. So th knowing that we can actually, ah, wrong button. Um, wait, I need normal view, there we go. All right, knowing that, I'm actually gonna reduce, can I, I'm gonna have to completely delete it, that's kind of annoying. Uh, let's quickly build these yes, my since we can only have three so that is always good uh, let's go ahead and and turn real quick and hopefully these planets will finish and we can actually actually gain a little bit more trade and when I should be able to show off on the <gasps> awesome they they read my mind they were like oh we're gonna actually make an early breakthrough sweet all right uh, let's see energy so next tech is antimatter and that's gonna take a while okay um what can we do it'd be nice to get this oh no 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 cancel Yes, I know. You guys are very happy that I gave you funds. But I'm actually going to pull that away and quickly look at getting heavy freighters, which is going to increase our income, which we definitely do need. All right, so first, say, first survey fleet has arrived back. And I don't think there's anything else. No, okay. So if we take a look at our government tab, I should be able to see trade income. There we are, 16,830 credits are income, or is incoming from trade, which is very nice, very, very nice. And this right down here shows all the income coming in from our colonies. Um, and two colonies are still being built up, which is always fantastic. And I'm trying to think, is there? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So very beneficial to kind of keep an eye on this. Uh, this will increase uh, every time we get more and more trade. We build more and more freighters. It's just just kind of the usual thing, I guess. But let's go ahead and end turn. Uh, we are getting close on time, but I'm feeling very confident on this software. I, at least I hope. I won't really know until I go back and edit it. So hopefully it will turn out fairly nice. <laughs> I'm hoping. So good. All right. Uh, actually, kind of curious. What does that do? All right. So let's take a look at get plasma focusing, long range fusion. Is that all it did? Was just give us long range fusion right it did didn't it let's I, I just want to double check make sure I'm not delusional yeah it just gives us long-range uh, fusion I was in withstand greater stresses when asked to generate higher energy output maybe it didn't maybe ooh um let's quickly look so our gate ship try and remember how what was the endurance on our ships supply energy we use very little energy on this let's see turning mass fusion really okay I was hoping it would show me 
Okay, 0.75 light years per turn. Dang, I was hoping it would show me that the increase to movement speed, maybe it did. Maybe it automatically increased it and I don't have to add on anything to my ships. Uh, we will actually have a gate ship coming back. So I might quickly invest in building another gate ship real quick. Go ahead, get that done. And I'm going to go ahead and end this video off here. And now uh, we are at time or slightly over it, roughly. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great and fantastic day. Zai Jen.